Welcome to another Birchfield Penny Sketch Break, sponsored by Hyatt's All Things Creative. My name is Michaela, art educator for the center. Today we're going to be looking into calligraphy, but not in the uh, traditional writing, um, you know, with the, the tipped pen. I'm going to be leading you through a little exercise um, using two pencils and some colored pencils. So instead of writing letters and or sentences in calligraphy, I want us to just focus on the form of letting your hand kind of naturally roam through the paper and creating kind of like stylized shapes and lines as you're drawing. So what you're gonna need today is three pencils or something about the size of a pencil that is um, shorter, or it, I guess it could be the same size, but I have something that's smaller. And this is what I mean, because we're gonna be attaching these two pencils together to create um, our tool to draw. So I also have tape. I just have painter's tape. I find this the easiest to use, but I guess scotch tape might work too. So I'm just gonna tear a small piece of tape I'm gonna take one of my pencils and I'm gonna put this smaller pencil I'm using as a spacer right next to it. And I'm just gonna take this tape and wrap it around these two pencils. Make sure it's kind of tight, all right? Then I'm gonna take another piece of tape. Good with the tape now. So I have my second piece of tape, take my second pencil, kind of line up your, your tips here as best you can. They don't have to be perfect. And then wrap this piece of tape around them as you can. So now you have this neat little pencil uh, drawing tool. And of course I have um, my colored pencils for later. So with my tool, now I'm gonna take, just warming up my wrist here. Um, I find that before doing any big drawing, it is, nice to get your hand warmed up. So, and with this, you're going to find that because your this tool is so large, it is going to take a little bit um, to get used to, but I'm going to go with like an easy shape. So maybe like an S shape, something that's going to be really easy to, to curve around this paper. So I'm just holding my little device here like this. I'm just going to just nicely come around. So like just these swirls, you can kind of see how it's curving. You can add little, you know, fun shapes. Curling around your paper. So think about that and then have, you can have little dashes. So now we've got, that was the easy part, right? So you have your, your pencil lines and now this is where you can kind of bring in your color. So with your colored pencils, now you can kind of fill in these little negative spaces. And I don't press down very hard with my pencil. Um, when I'm usually using these, I have a light hand because I find it easier to blend if I find I wanna add a darker color. Um, pressing down with Pris and I'm using Prisma pencils, um, which I believe you can buy at Hyatt's as well. I love these pencils personally. Um, I've had, this is my personal set and I've had these since high school. So it's, you know, it, they're, they're about 10 years old now and um, I use them all the time and they're still in really, really great shape. So again, I don't press down very hard because you can always blend, especially with these like I was gonna say, these Prisma pencils, they tend to, when you press down hard, have like a waxy consistency. So then you can't really add any more to it if it's fully impressed in the paper. So just a note. And I picked out some very specific colors here. I wanted to um, have like my own little color palette. So that's why I have these colors. Obviously use whatever colors you want. Um, 
um, one of this project is actually inspired by a mural we have up currently in our museum. Um, it is by the artist Mohammed Zaman, and his work is based deeply in language and calligraphy. And one of the things that I see a lot in his work, and obviously he's using words and really writing out something, whereas this is more just like fluid lines. Um, and you really see how stylized and beautiful this writing can be. And of course he's using paint while we're using colored pencils. However, that mural is still up and you can still see it now in the museum. You know, calligraphy on its own is its own art form. And this is kind of like, a, not a traditional calligraphy style, obviously, because we're not using real words. We're, I just used, you know, random lines in the way my hand was moving across the paper, but. So yeah, now that we're in like the fun part, so now it takes time to color in these shapes and spaces. Um, you know, if you're at your desk and you have, maybe you have, I have these two at my desk at work, I have colored pens. This would be a really fun thing to do with colored pens if you're sitting there. Um, but just these little, lines and negative spaces you can fill in with these colors and really start building value. I'm obviously starting with a very um, obvious color palette right now. I'm just kind of picking where I think colors might work best. Go move into yellow. Playing with this tool, when you start using it, it is a little tough at first because when I had first done this, I wanted it to be really like in a certain way or look a certain way. And you kind of have to just let yourself let go and not get caught up in the idea that it's gonna look like letters or it's gonna look a certain way. It really is a good warm up, especially if you're going to do some intense drawing. This would be a good warm up um, to loosen up your fingers and your wrists. Because you're really just letting yourself move around the paper. So take your time. Another thing you could do if you wanted to make a very specific drawing out of this would be attaching two colored pencils together. That way your lines were colored instead of um, graphite. And I was using um, just regular graphite pencils. Um, these are, I think are actually watercolor pencils. Um, they kind of dissolve with water, but which is a different way you could approach this. You could use this and then have watercolor pencils under in between and paint them, I guess. That would be an interesting way to examine this too. some grays here because I felt I wanted to have a couple areas that were just gray but I didn't want to use the graphite I 
And again, I'm really like barely pressing down on this paper. I have a very light hand, kind of like holding an egg. You know, I'm not, I'm barely pressing down to get these colors. Um, you know, as you keep building your color, you can, you can press down. Um, and that'll only, you know, obviously add more pigment to your paper, but if you really want to be conscious of blending your color, um, I recommend a really light grip. And again, if you're really comfortable with moving your hand around this paper, um, try writing words, try writing your name out. Um, if you know how to write in calligraphy already, which I don't, um, this was just a warm up and getting some interesting shapes on the paper. But if you know how to do calligraphy, this would be an interesting way to approach um, adding more color into that way of writing as well. Thank you for joining me for this week's sketch break. I hope you enjoyed this prompt and I hope you get a chance to visit the museum to see the artwork that inspired this prompt, which is uh, the mural by Mohammed Zaman, which is called Hope Setting in a Bank of Smoke. And I will see you next time. Thank you.